Cancers, welcome to Sunny Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for January 11th through the 15th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so if you want something more tailored to your own situation, that link is in the description box below. So I realized when I was shuffling this that I kind of mixed them up. So if I end up reading reversals, then that's just what it's going to be. But you're still going to get the messages nonetheless. Let's see what you guys could expect. King of Rods, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, okay, Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups in Reverse, which I don't like, Knight of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so off the bat, some of you are dealing with two people. Others, you're just dealing with someone who is a trickster, someone who can't be trusted, someone who's flighty, um, flaky, non-committal. Whoever this Knight of Rods is, they have they're taking on the energy of a Leo Aries Sag, which is someone between the ages of 20 and 35. This person is really fiery and passionate. You can expect a good time with them. Like they bring a lot of light and energy into the scenario. But when it comes time to settling down and actually getting down to business and doing the dirty work, this person just takes off and you they come in as fast as they leave, basically. The Knight of Wands is someone who likes that change of scenery, so you can't expect them to commit. And this person, whoever they may be, they were playing a lot of mind games with you. They were causing some type of deception in regards to your life, playing you, cheating on you, lying on you, lying. Um, some type of sneaky behavior is really the Seven of Swords is. This is all about deception, deceit, underhanded behavior, low vibrational energy. And so I feel like this person may have caused you some type of unhappiness and could have affected if you have a partnership with someone else. I feel like they could have affected your partnership because with the Two of Cups, this person could have offered you some type of like relationship, friendship, situationship, whatever the hell it was. But I feel like because there is a snake on their arm, um, or a salamander, whatever that is, this person can't be trusted. And whatever false hopes they gave you, they never actually intended on fulfilling the promises that they did provide to you. And I feel like right now, you're unhappy in the situation. You're not fulfilled. Um, if there is a family situation in this scenario, things are not going well. This is the unhappy family life, the cups of love getting poured out. Because you have come to some sort of... Um, ugh tongue-tied. You have come to some sort of truth and clarity that the universe provided to you. This clarity came after some time and it also has something to do with this other person. For some of you, you're dealing with two people. One of these people is a Knight of Cups, which is could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but they're just embodying that energy. Someone between the ages of 20 and 35, really charming, sexy, knows how to use their words and sweet talk you but at the same time they have a tendency to um, break their promises or whatever this situation was there's an apology required before you can move forward for those of you that are dealing with two people the knight of cups is the more viable option in this scenario because they're not the one playing mind games with you they're not the one that is doing all this underhanded behavior getting away with things they are focused on bringing you that clarity and truth the knight of cups Meanwhile, this Knight of Wands is focused on deception and sneaking away with things and yeah. Some of you are just dealing with one person and you're embodying the Knight of Cups energy. But there is some type of movement or communication that's about to come in if it hasn't already. This is going to help you um, basically make a decision about where it is that you want to go from here. Because there is a brand new offer that's being handed to you. This could be a renewal of a relationship that already exists could be a brand new relationship, new job, new house, new car, vacation, something to help renew the energy. Someone's trying to hand you this cup and the universe is assisting them as far as bringing you whatever this gift is. And it's the Knight of Cups that's trying to hand this to you. So if you already have an established relationship, um, this person wants to have a renewal with you, maybe after some confusion or after things weren't really established in the past. And if you do have the options between two different people, I would just kind of not pay attention to this person because you can't really trust what they do or what they say since they're already displaying, you know, this type of behavior. Let's get another deck so we can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. 
Okay, so one of those cards was flipped. Why is the Knight of Rods here? Because of the Ace of Swords. This person, they thrive when it comes to environments that have confusion, things that they can manipulate as far as illusions. It's where they thrive. It's their comfort zone. They like to leave people confused, not really knowing where, they're st where they stand. That way they can continue on with their underhanded behavior. So with this person, either you're deciding not to see what it is that they're providing you, or you ju you're just not aware that this person is this way and I feel like you can't trust them and they're focused on having a partnership with you but with the ten of cups in reverse we have this card show showing up twice clarifying, clarifying its own card in the same row so this tells me that the unhappy family the instability that's something that's really prominent this week and if this person this Knight of rods is offering you a partnership just know that it's going to lead to unhappiness and overall you're going to have to heal from whatever it is that they put you through so don't don't take the bait because i feel like they're really just trying to bait you and then they're going to run like they always do with the ace of swords here the ten of swords in reverse this person this knight of cups knows that you've been through some type of betrayal in the past and they want to help you move forward this person wants to bring you the clarity that you deserve as far as if they did do something to you in the past that really hurt your feelings or made you feel betrayed i feel like they're going to try to apologize to you and mend the situation in whatever way that they can which is more to say for whoever this other person is in your life some of you you're not dealing with two people and you're just dealing with this one person who is very deceptive and I feel like you need to move on to something better because once you do there's going to be a new option available to you that's really vibrant and has a lot of potential tied to it with the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So as soon as you let go of all the burdens that you're carrying, because right now you're, you might be feeling stressed out, worn out, that energy is still here. But once again, once you move forward and you let go of that, something brand new is going to be offered to you. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Because of the Page of Cups in reverse. Whoever you're dealing with, they're really immature internally. They have a lot of work to do on themselves as far as healing and just dealing with a bunch of childhood trauma because they have this manipulative tendency to them. They know how to use their feelings and your emotions to manipulate you. And that's as far as like the deception and the illusions that they display around you. So with the Ten of Cups in reverse... There is underhanded behavior in the situation as far as you're not getting as much energy as you're putting into something. There's no equal give and take here. There's no balance. So without balance, you can't have a steady foundation. And it makes sense why you would be unhappy because if you're, if you're putting all this effort into something and you're not getting it in return, then you should essentially stop putting the effort in and either put it back into yourself or focus on something that will be more fruitful and will actually benefit you in some type of way. With the Knight of Cups, this person made a decision. I feel like the, in the past, they were like in this teeter-tottering energy where they didn't necessarily know which decision they wanted to make. But I feel like if you are dealing with two people, the one that is more trustworthy in your life has made a final decision and they want to offer you something. For example, if this is you and let's say this Knight of Cups did something to hurt your feelings and it essentially broke the relationship down they're gonna come back in apologize um, try to work things out and offer you a new start in this scenario why is the four of swords in reverse oh for the ones that aren't dealing with two people you're getting out of your head when it comes to something because you were in a period of rest where you weren't really making any decisions but I feel like you've had the clarity that's necessary to move forward and you're gonna make the decision necessary to move on to this Ace of Pentacles, whether you're trying to get a new house, new car, new job, anything brand new that has abundance and prosperity tied to it. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Because of the four wands in reverse. You're focused on having a stable foundation because right now in your life, with this happy home life being upside down and the four of wands being upside down you don't really have a strong foundation you don't have that stability and if you do it's not firm it's not something that you can build and grow 
So with this brand new offer, it's going to require a lot of work in order to get the foundation back to where it's supposed to be in order to have that happy home life. It's possible. You just have to release whatever burdens that you're carrying right now because I feel like most of this weight is not even yours. It's tied to whoever this flighty person is. They bring most of the confusions and the illusions to you because you can't think straight when someone's trying to, you know, this is the best interpretation of the relationship that you have with this Knight of Rods. Like, yes, they have a more clear aspect of what's going on because they're the ones manipulating the energy surrounding it. A lot of deception and underhanded behavior. Let me get um, two cards for best advice for you. So, two of swords. This person, Knight of Rods, you see how this dragon is like taking the power away for this person. I feel like they have the tendency to have you feeling trapped or keep you feeling trapped, and it's all an illusion. As soon as you make a decision about what it is that you really want, this person's not going to have any power over you, which is what you need to do. You need to get out of that stalemate energy, and instead of teeter-tottering between do I go left or right, go within, spend some time to yourself, and really ask yourself, what is it that I want? Is this situation going to make me happy? Am I getting what it is that I need out of it? And if if the answer is no, that you're not happy and you're not getting what you need out of it, then you know how to move forward from there. One more card for best advice. The tower in reverse. You're avoiding some type of breakup. You're avoiding some type of tower moment. A tower moment is something destructive that comes in that you don't see coming. And you can feel when it's coming because you will start having like, you know, anxiety, not really sleeping well, having paranoia, and it's because there's something that you're trying to avoid in your life and it's going it's going to basically be crumbled anyways, and you're just you're just basically how do I say this? Trying to stop the inevitable and all you're doing is just delaying it and causing yourself more pain at the same time. So if you let this tower come in and let this foundation get destroyed, you could build you could build it back up on more more stable ground or you can decide to move on to something better for you. It's all a matter of actually making a decision because the 2 of swords is my indecision card and someone's taking advantage of the fact that you're not able to make a choice right now and so that's why they're creating all these illusions surrounding you. But that's the end of your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll see you guys at some point again this month. And I hope you have a good night. Bye.